Approximately two weeks ago, I made a game in only one day. This week though, we're gonna turn it into a mobile game and release it within the week. And since I already worked for one day, I'm gonna give myself six days because seven minus one is six. Quick maths. Yeah, I'm a smart guy. This means we have until Saturday to finish and release the game, so uh, that's gonna be kind of interesting because I haven't made a mobile game before. And also last week, I made a website using hostinger.com slash Danny. <laughs> Which was a lot of fun, so you should definitely check out Hostinger if you need a website, and you should check out the video, because it's dope. It's, it's, I mean, it's made by me, so yeah, duh. Let's just get right into the news. It's Monday, and the very first thing I did today was plan out all of the features I wanted for the game. So I made a quick list on Trello.com, and, and this video is not sponsored by Trello, but hey, if any of you Trello employers are watching this, I'm just saying, you know, hit me up. The first thing I did was change the trajectory so it shows where you're actually going instead of just a straight line. Next up, we need to change the launch mechanic so it works better for mobiles. It's currently designed for PC, but I want a pullback mechanic instead since that makes more sense for a phone game. So I landed on this design where you aim from where you initially pressed, so you can basically play with only your thumb, which is pretty nice. I also reworked the camera completely so it now zooms and moves based on where you are aiming and also which direction you're moving in. After that I set up a super basic menu where you can play, shop and customize, but for now the only button that actually works is the play button. Now let's do some save files. I've never actually done this before, so hello Google, how are you doing today on this fine Monday? Please help me. And just like that, we now have save files working. So if I open up the app and commit Sudoku, you can see it remembered my previous high score. Nice. I also changed the jump mechanic, so instead of only one jump, you now have something called juice, which is depleted by jumping and using slow motion. And when you run out of juice, you can't jump anymore. Then I fixed the spawn system, so entities spawn infinitely to the right and also to the left. And of course, it's not a mobile game without a level and XP system, so I stole the XP formula from good old RuneScape and implemented it into my game. Then I made everything else needed for the XP system, and just like that we now have a kind of buggy XP bar, but it works. Kind of. Not really. Send help, please. And finally today I implemented settings and stats, and also designed some icons for tomorrow. But that's gonna be it for today, I'm absolutely smashed so I'm gonna go hit the sack and continue tomorrow. It's day 2 and I've recharged after a good night's sleep. I got a lot of stuff done yesterday and the list is almost done already, which means we have a lot of time to add even more fun features. First off today, let's work on the UI and actually make a shop system, which shouldn't take too long. I was wrong. It's currently 1.30 and making a UI and shop system and customization takes much longer than I initially thought, but so far the shop is working and you can actually buy stuff. So here you can see Virgin level 0 ball with no upgrades versus Chad ball with a lot of upgrades and clearly the Chad is superior. I want to add more upgrades but I haven't quite figured out what exactly yet so I sent out a tweet asking for ideas and you should totally follow me on Twitter by the way, I post some really cool tweets, yeah. And while waiting for ideas I finished a very buggy color selector so you can change the color of your balls. Change the color of your balls. Back on Twitter now, I've gotten a lot of cool suggestions, which gave me a ton of inspiration, but before starting on any of it, I implemented the most important upgrade in the entire game. Square. <laughs> yeah. Then I implemented a rocket upgrade inspired by Risk of Rain 1, which the more you upgrade, the more frequently it will shoot out home-seeking rockets, killing enemies for you. This is what it looks like fully upgraded. And with that, it's the end of day 2, which means it's time to hit the sack. It is Wednesday my dudes, and we're gonna keep working on adding upgrades since that is very important to make a small game like this fun. The first one I'm gonna add is a suggestion from Luke on Twitter, which is the split ability, giving you a chance of splitting balls into 4 more balls. When fully upgraded, you will split around every 10 balls you hit. Then I cleaned up the death screen so it's not as messy anymore and you can actually tell what's going on. I also added another upgrade which gives you a chance to spawn a missile upon destroying another ball. 
After this, I worked on a bunch of optimizations and bugs, and then got to work on something really cool which will spice up the game a lot. So after reaching a certain distance, you get to a locked door, and you have to become a square to unlock it. Now the square costs like 100,000 points, so it's quite hard to get to it. And I'm not gonna show you what's inside just yet, so I'm gonna keep working on it, hit the sack, and then show you tomorrow when it's done. It's currently 11.30 and I just finished up working on what's inside of the totally secret room. So once you enter, the gates will close behind you and the boss will appear. Currently he's only got three different faces, one where he launches at you with spikes, one where he's just kinda idle and moves to the center of the stage, and one where he shoots missiles at you. Now if you're an elite gamer like me, you can make him attack himself with the missiles. Most of you probably aren't elite gamers like me, but you know, the possibility is there. Then I got to work on the auto bounce feature, basically once you activate it, you will automatically bounce from ball to ball for a short period of time, and you can see the results here, it, it's really fun to use in big chunks of enemies. I also implemented a lot of other small features. There's the cash entity, pretty rare and gives you a lot of money, the floor now heals you properly, and I added a little jump effect to indicate better where you jumped from. With all of this done, it's time to actually do some playtesting to find out if the game is fun or if it's complete ass. After playing for an hour, I had a long list of feedback for myself, but the biggest setback is the fact that the controls are absolutely terrible and it's no fun playing. So yeah, the game is complete ass. So I'm feeling a bit demotivated right now, not quite sure what to do here, but let's start with fixing all of the small issues first. The solution I landed on for fixing the controls was actually to slow down the gameplay and kind of smooth out the movement a bit. I realized looking at the gameplay that it's absolutely way too quick, it's like you're trying to keep up with Sonic the, the Hedge Bull. I don't know, but it's really hard to keep up. So let's start playtest number 2 and pray to the Unity Gods that it goes better. The second playtest was actually a success and it was really fun to play this time. Motivation is back and we can now start working on the game again. There's now a missile ball which will shoot missiles at you, because dodging missiles is <laughs> always a lot of fun. But that's going to be it for today, I'm gonna go hit the sack and get some good night's sleep, and continue tomorrow, which will be kind of the last day of intense working before publishing. It's Friday and the first thing I want to do today is integrate ads, because your boy needs to get that bread, so it kind of has to be done. I got it working quick enough and after that I also changed the shop, but I had a ton of different issues with different screen ratios, which has already cost me a lot of time trying to fix, but eventually I figured out a pretty cool solution that somehow works. I don't know what I did, but you know, good job me. After a while I've also reworked the menu and it looks much cleaner now, so I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Then I got to work on actually making the ads work, because previously I, I didn't actually implement them properly, so I've made it so you can watch an ad for money and also one level. I also added a distance meter thing that shows you how far you got in your run, and also that there's some secret kind of boss stuff coming up to keep the player interested. I also worked a bit more on the music, and it's time for another playtest. So let's build the project, and nothing works. That's kind of a problem since I'm gonna need the final build ready for tomorrow when I'm actually releasing it, so I have no idea what the issue is. I could probably try to figure it out by looking at the errors, but let's be real here, no one actually looks at the errors. I mean, come on, no, no one ever did that. So I'm just gonna delete some stuff here and there and hope that the project doesn't break. So, you know, delete this, whoopsie doopsie, bye bye, comment out this code here, be gone. And just like that, we now managed to successfully build the project. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you fix things. We might have lost half of the project on the way, but hey, at least the build works. But I'm getting really tired now, so I'm gonna go hit the sack before I end up deleting the entire project, and hopefully figure out something tomorrow before launching. It's the final day, and we have a lot of work to do in a very limited amount of time. So before I get to work on actually publishing the game, I fixed a ton of bugs and added a second boss so the game would have more content. He's pretty much identical to the first one, but guess what? Square. Boom. 
though he kind of likes to blow himself up, so he, he's kind of bad. Anyway, I fixed that and then put some finishing touches on the menu. All the sections are now working as they should, and I've added a cheeky little about button so I can get some extra clout for my YouTube channel. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's work on the actual publishing parts. So here you can see a list of things to do, a lot of typos since I'm <laughs> dead tired at this point, but whatever, we got the list. So I started off by killing two squares with one stone, I don't know, but I recorded some gameplay for a trailer and screenshots while also playtesting and adjusting some minor details. So I just finished a very short and rushed trailer. Oh man, I keep bouncing into the green balls. This game is so hard. Ah, if only I was an elite gamer. Then I did a ton of playtesting to make sure all of the small details work and everything is in place, which took a lot of time. It's 11 p.m. and we've got one hour to go. I uploaded the final build and what do you know, even more errors. But there's nothing to delete this time, so I'm not quite sure how to fix this. I can't just delete the entire Google servers, or, or can I? That didn't work, so we're gonna have to find another solution. And with just 5 minutes to go, I managed to fix all of the issues and upload the final build. Some people might say that was a pretty close call, but it was honestly all part of my calculations and master plan, so no worries, I had it all under control. You can probably tell though, I was only able to do this for Android. This really sucks, as I wanted to do it for both Apple and Android, but releasing for Apple is just a whole other beast, I just I could not get it done in time. I even got in touch with Apple, but they couldn't really help me out, so I'm really sorry to all of you iPhone users out there, but it's just way more time consuming and expensive to get an app out for Apple as opposed to Android. So I'm really sad about this and I'm really sorry, but I, <laughs> I really tried my best, I swear. But that being said, now all we have to do is wait for Google to respond and hopefully we can get the game out as soon as possible. So uh, it's Friday, one week later, and uh, Google has finally approved of the app. So it's now available for literally everyone. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go make the video and uh, then we should be good to go. I'm so excited. So you can see the app on my phone here. And just like that, we got our game. Yay. It actually works. This is so cool. Awesome. So yeah, the app is now available on the Play Store, there is a link in the description down below. This will be my first officially released game, so I'm pretty damn excited about it. I've also made it available for computers, so if you want to play on your PC instead of your phone, there is a link for that too in the description. As always, massive shout out to all of my Patreon supporters for their great support, and of course, massive thanks to you for watching my video. Make sure to smash like if you enjoyed it, and, and smash dislike if you didn't. And yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Subscribe for more bad content, drink your milk, hit your sack, and respect women. See ya.